Good day ladies and gentlemen. So the purpose of this video is just to show you how Excel works, right? And the things that you might be using. Okay, so it's going to be basic. All right. So let's say you have this data. All right. Uh, you're going to do this in one of the practicals. Actually, a lot of them, right? So you're going to have concentration and absorbance, right? So if the first thing, let's say you want to make a graph. Okay. So it's easy. You just highlight both of your data sets. And you say insert, right? After that, here you can see charts. So there is a lot of charts. Okay, let's say these ones. But the problem is if you hover, then you can see uh, the display there, right? But let's go to the line chart, right? It's hard to see, but you can see there's like two different... Okay, let's, let's pick it, all right? So you see there's two different types of data sets. That is wrong. That's not how it should look. It should look like a, a linear line, right? So that's wrong. And if you want to delete, you just press backspace. Okay. But where you need to go is you can go to recommended charts. You see, all right, this is what we want. Okay. Uh, recommended charts, here you can see, or you can choose all charts there. Okay. And then it will show you how it looks like line this is exactly what we want okay so you can see there's pie charts there's bar charts there's a lot of type different types of charts right so we want this one okay then you select and say okay and then you have your chart your or your graph okay let's just make it a bit more visible so if you want to change the style of the graph you click there and you just scroll down. You see there's different types of styles. Uh, let's just choose this one. I hope it's more visible. Okay. So, of course, you're going to have to uh, change the title of the chart. Okay. So, we can just say concentration against absorbance. Okay. Sorry, spelling absorbance. Okay. So then that's how you change your chart title. Now, of course, you're going to have to name your axes, all right? So you just click on that plus symbol, chart elements, and then you have axis titles. Okay. There it is. It's, it's easy. So you just go down here, double click. Okay. This is going to be concentration. And this one here is going to be absorbance. Okay, so Excel will take the, the one on this side, it's going to be your X axis, and this one on the other side is going to be your Y axis. Okay, so that's how uh, Excel works, all right? So, but the other thing you're going to need is a trend line, because they're going to ask for that. So, you just go again to that chart elements, and there you see trend line. Okay, you see that's that dotted line. There, now it's not there and now it is okay so what you want to do is you also want your uh, um, okay let me show you now so there's two ways of getting to this to the menu you want to be at okay so just select okay there we go you can say format trend line and then you can get to this menu that's one way of doing it another way is you just double click and there, there it goes, okay. But you want to display your equation, right? So you click there, it's uh, at this thing, trend line options. You can say your trend line must be linear. Uh, there's other, okay, no, let's not do that. Let's just add the trend line again, okay, this there. What did I do? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So, format trend line. Okay, just keep it at linear. Don't play around like that. Of course, you can. It's the best way you're going to get experience. <laughs> okay, but anyway. So, you just scroll down to this play equation, right? You click that, and the, the equation popped up. 
you're also going to need that R squared value. All right. And then you can just drag it around. So, yeah, that's how you make a graph. It's, it's easy. It's not that hard. Uh, you can also, I think, you, yeah, you can say no line. Because some of the graphs have this, it just has the dots, right? And then the trend line. So that's one way of making the charts, okay? Yeah, so charts you're gonna have to make, you're gonna have to know how to make charts. So there you go, all right? Let's just move it to that side. Okay, the other thing that you're going to need to know is how uh, do you get the sum? All right, so how do you do the calculations in Excel? So it's actually going to be very easy. So let's say this is your data, all right, and you want the sum. So you let's tick tag that cell underneath there. We say equal, all right. Then you can see there on top the functions, right? If you go to the drop down list, there's sum, t test, standard deviation, average, all right. So you can uh, there's a lot of functions you can do okay you can also add and subtract as well okay but let's say you want the sum so you just click sum and then this is gonna pop up just press that arrow highlight what you need or what you want to add up press enter and just say okay then there it pops up 35 right so that's easy. Let's say you want the average, you're going to do the same. This time you're just going to click average from the drop down list. Then it's going to pop up again. Click that. Get your data. Enter. You say OK. That's the average. Let's say you want the standard deviation. All right. You go again to the drop down list. You can also go to the formulas and I think it's going to be, yeah, more functions, statistical, but this is just, this just too much. So just go to this one, average, you click on average. No, no, we don't want average, we want standard deviation, right? So you go to the drop down list, standard deviation is this one. We, we select our data, press enter. It's okay, boom. All right, so that's how you do calculations. And uh, like I said, you can also add, right? So if you say equal, right? Let's say you want to add 10, then it's gonna highlight a 10, all right? Let's say you want uh, that one, 12 plus 14, 16, okay? And then what you do, you just press enter and boom, there it goes. And then when you click on that, it will highlight the things you added together, right? The different colors. You can also subtract, all right? So let's say that one. Uh, minus, let's do everything again, okay? You press enter and then you get minus seven, all right? So uh, that is how you do the calculations um, another thing that you might uh, find useful uh, let's say you want to see from this data let's say you have a lot of data right and you want to see from that data which one is bigger than this or which one is uh, smaller than this right so what you're going to do is you're going to just going to highlight everything go to conditional formatting okay then there's highlight cell rules so here you can choose greater than lesser than between equal and everything there okay this this one shows like the top 10 items top 10 percent bottom 10 percent things like that and these ones uh, it's just, I haven't played around here but I know you can do this one okay let's say greater than okay then it asks you greater than what okay then you can say I don't know let's say uh, two I don't know all right we say okay we can also say let's make it green green okay we say okay 
and then it made it green all right then, then you can see it right they show data so then you don't have to manually go and okay let's see what I want okay you just get your data on Excel and you go to conditional formatting highlight greater than or lesser than or in between or equal and then you press the button to just do it and boom so uh, that is Excel I don't know if there's more things of course you can add tables right just like in word symbols we just check if I didn't miss anything no, I didn't I don't think so no and just something interesting right let's say you have a lot of data okay but it's the same data okay like every time you get data it's the same right and you want to make a table things like that so you just activate the developer option and then you get this ribbon right so you say record macro then you get your name and wara wara and you say okay then it's recording right so it basically it says stop recording so every click that you do it's gonna make it's gonna like track that and when you stop recording and let's say we make this uh, this graph over here it's gonna make a new one okay but that's just uh, something interesting it's not that's something you're gonna use but uh, yeah I think that is all all right have a good day